can't rely on that. What is up, guys? It's Mike it's here, and welcome if he doesn't see to that, my uh, YouTube help. channel. And most of all, welcome that. to episode four of Nothing our spawn of the playthrough of Balear. Now, before I'm gonna that. continue, I have to adjust a couple of I'm things you anything, you. Uh, due to the fact of OBS constantly I'm freezing you. when recording a gothic 2 That's really or having a major major buzzing noise know in the mic you? itself um which means all that just gossip. i've already done this part about five more, to six me. times now all of which were either frozen or you know buzzing you. in the mic which I'm makes things a bit more you. frustrating I'm not going to re-explain why I etc. Et you know, um, if you would like to know that, uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will explain it in as Can't much detail that. as I can. Um, but for now, That's it's significant, you know. But uh, uh, let me, duty? if you will, re vamp the death I that I undertook, which is only about one, change. when completing Onar's farm. But yeah, figured out for the fifth really time or the sixth time, whatever, that it was he frozen. As easy as that. You know, um, or topping yeah, is really not that. very possible in this particular game, which that makes no it all deal. the more annoying to, you know, That's been no guess time. whether it does or doesn't work. I'm staying um, out of the it. area of Onar's farm and Sagita what not included, Sekop's farm not included. Um, no will idea. take me, me about mm, well, about an hour and a half times let's say that five true. you know so this is a turn number six let's say is it really true think it were more but you know that that's beside the point you don't have to tell so, me so uh, fingers crossed because it's kind of getting it's that was you know it's starting to get really really annoying to There's redo more, me. certain areas constantly you didn't know that one after another I'm so I cannot it. wait to get to be done with Gothic 2 once and for all except for the hardcore run what does he know but about then you? I can check on my live stream Do you really whether things that? work or not so without further ado guys I'm let me revamp the deaths which was one um, that's so all just go, gossip. You know, I will have to overwrite death count the oh, save file true. and the chapter two save file, which were that's the ones just that were completed after this. You know, he simply needs um, to and then we're gonna continue and redo it that's once more. A long time. At least I hope it's gonna be one There's once more. more believe me, to get actually Onar's farm completed really and done. Uh, be able to join the monastery of the magicians of fire because uh, see that. the more it goes wrong the what more he know I'm looking duty? against playing this third path he listened to the and the more people. I'm looking against you know he really should have known being better. uncapable of playing a gothic Isn't 3 really path true? of Balear so without further ado guys let's begin can't rely on that What do we it. have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. And you had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. All right. What do you want here? If you say so, I'm on my way to see the landowner. Indeed. Hmm. You don't look all that dangerous to me. I've killed a beast or two on occasion. Ha! Ha ha You probably flattened a few weevils in the fields and chased a couple of rats from their holes. We're dealing with orcs here. Well, yeah. And with those scummy city guards. <laughs> So? <laughs> As if you knew what I'm talking about. You think you're mighty strong, don't you? 
Maybe it's about time that somebody taught you a lesson. Any time. Come closer then, buddy. Okay, buddy. You're doing okay? Well, we'll see the next time. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers. And if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? Here you are. Five gold pieces. Eh, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. I want to join the mercenaries. Anyone who can whack as hard as you shouldn't have too much trouble around here. My vote doesn't count much, since I haven't been here for long. But when Lee asks me, I'll vote for you. Lee is the leader of the mercenaries, isn't he? Right. Hey, now I remember where I know you from. You were in the colony, too. Hmm, so I was. I didn't see you when the Big Bang happened. Not for a while before that, either. I had... other problems. You've missed out on quite a lot, then. Things have changed since we were in the Slammer together. What became of the mercenaries in the colony? Once the barrier was gone, Lee let us out of the colony. He said that nothing could happen to us if we all stuck together. And he was right. It wasn't too long before we found ourselves a cozy spot right here. The landowner pays us to beat up the militia from the city. And most of us would have volunteered to do that even without pay. But Onar feeds us all and we can bide our time until we see a good opportunity to get away from this blasted island. Can you teach me how to fight better? I might well be able to give you a hint or two. No, I don't need one-handed. Nobody will learn anything Eventually, from me. Eventually, I'll need two-handed, but uh, I couldn't get away the only that. reason why we'll get two-handed is due to a staff. Not because he's gonna use it a lot, because you know, he's gonna be a mage, and so he's gonna use the powers of Beliar, which uh, is gonna make him very, very powerful. And in the end, from staff, he will go to the core of Beliar, which is going to be a very powerful instrument in this guy's hands. But, like I said, you know, it's already about fifth. Six time, six plus at the very least, you know, um, that I try to record this specific area with all the quests and whatnot, you know. So it's, it's getting a bit annoying basically to uh, redo the same stuff over and over and over and over again. Each time it takes about an hour and a half, so imagine the time waste, you know. 
but let's hope, fingers crossed, that uh, it's going to be a bit better now, you know. No freezing, no buzzing in the mic, no interferences of any kind, you know, but uh, there's only one way to find out. I can, you know, check if the recording was good, but that, 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 you know, that will not mean that in my next recording where I will either redo the whole process or, you know, play the game, continue the game basically, um, it doesn't mean that it will be fixed then, you know. It either freezes or it doesn't, which is very annoying. And even though Gothic 2 is a full screen game, it doesn't detect on full screen game capture. So I have to do a display capture, which have the possibility of freezing, which in this particular episode happened already about five times at least, but I think it's more. But, uh, fingers crossed. What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week. And it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself. And the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword. But with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to see some gold. <laughs> you bastard. You want to take advantage of my situation, huh? Either I pay you, or I bite the dust. All right, I can pay you 50 gold pieces. That's all I got. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. Let's see how many I can kill without losing the XP. Probably There's one. another of those scummy beasts. <laughs> One less monster around. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. So, this is where they dragged the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Wait a minute. What about our agreement? Hey, you wanted to take advantage of my situation. Now I'm taking a bit of advantage of you. But look at the bright side. You had a learning experience. That's something, isn't it? I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. Nothing to be had there. Oh man, my head. It's gonna take a bit of time to pick up all the loose pieces of gold. You really don't have to do it. 
There's not that much gold in total, but every little bit helps. Wait a minute. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? My gold. And since you found yourself an ex, I'm gonna get I it. I think you're hide good. What the? I just love. Nothing there. You don't deserve a rusty axe. You deserve a heavy branch. Where do you think you are going? I wanted to have a look around, that's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Ha! So you're headed for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here, hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then. Let's see what we have here. Ah, gold. It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? Depend on how you look at it. 50 gold pieces over an unlimited amount of time is a good bargain. Mm -hmm. It had to happen sooner but or later. It's not Ono that has to pay for was. it. What do you want? I've got no time you for mustn't business. believe everything you hear. I want to have a look around the farm. Don't go into the building on the left. Silvio's in there. He's not in a good mood right now. If he sees a weakling who doesn't belong on the farm, he might get the idea of venting his bad mood on him. Tell me that isn't true. Have fun. Uh, what I do you want this time? That. I want to annoy you. In there, done that. Funny. Nobody will learn anything. From I me. want to join up with Lee. Just Lee won't have much to, to say around here if he keeps on this way. What do you mean? He wants us all to sit himself. around here and twiddle our thumbs. Uh, Intimidate a few farmers now and then, and that's it. Silvio always says offense is the best defense, and damn right he is. believe everything you hear. Yeah, In most certain terms, it is. However, attacking innocents, but he knew that all alone. Have fun. It was his decision. Wasn't what what do you want? Strength. Wrong option again. So don't tell me that. Don't Who is Silvio? Our next change. leader, if you ask me. If you I plan on asking him truth. if you can join us, forget it. No, you look like you're barely good for herding sheep. You can't rely on that. Methinks I'm gonna punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been too nice to you so far, haven't I? To step in and sort things out. That was no big deal. Oh my God! Sorry, oh. then. That hurt. Not bad. You showed him who was boss. Gold. Okay, that's mine for starters. You can't rely on. I think I'll take your weapon for safekeeping. That's no secret. For safekeeping, huh? Good. <laughs> <Watch> <laughs> That'll just never change. You, you will meet your karma at some point, my friend. That weapon belongs to me. He Nobody thinks it's as easy as opinion. that. It was his decision, that. wasn't it? I can't help him. Don't no one really wants to hear that. that. Oh, I couldn't get away with that. So don't tell me that. <laughs> That'll never change. No idea. My Do I have to show you? It no one can't really go wants on to like this for What? That's it. I've been too. I'm staying out of the wrong people. 
Oh my. Don't yeah. stop now. Let him have it. Let him have it. Thank you for one my gold and two my weapon. He thinks Is it it's really as easy true? as that? That's really not my problem. Who did you pick I that up? Get away with that. That's no secret. I'd have gone about it differently. I don't believe this is going to change. We'll see that. about that. Hey! All right, all right, you win. What do you want? That's all just gossip. I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, uh, do whatever you want. You don't have to tell me that. I agree with you completely. I'm really not going to no join a mercenary. If you want that specific path, check out the path of that. I all. could tell you. Add down north, God damn it. Nobody ever asked And uh, if you want to see the militia paladin, then check out the playthrough of the e north again. And if you want to see Balion and well, want to fire me, then you're in the right place. Yeah, I Nothing amazes that. me anymore. How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? That was no big deal. That's not what I have. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of ring around the rosy with the sheep? Tell me that isn't true. Uh, I want to join the mercenaries. There's no place for wimps around here. Nobody wants to know. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. You can't rely on that. Of course we got the end. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Wanna risk a little bet? Same old thing. I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About truth. this strong. Looks like you got me there. Tell me that I never true. expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. no secret. Do you really believe that? Here you are. The things I can tell you really didn't deserve that. That was no big deal. Don't tell me you didn't know that. <laughs> I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, well, you wield a decent sword. You'll learn the rest. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. That's the first I've heard of it. Nothing amazes me. Can you teach me how to handle two handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. That isn't true. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two handed combat anyway. That was no Nobody big deal. Will learn anything from me. Just listen to him talk. I can't believe that. That doesn't surprise me. I've got no Doing all right? Like hey, that. I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? I can't go on like this forever. I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. That's been known a long time. I used to say that myself. And that's the truth. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care. 
Just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. I've heard a thing or two. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Or do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. You don't have to tell me that. Very well. Did you, Wolf? I've got no time for things like that. Nothing amazes me anymore. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm, just where did you escape from? Nothing amazes me anymore. That will never change. They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. So don't tell me that. Of course we got it. Nobody ever asked for What kind of work is to be headed here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. No secret. I'm telling you anything here. Yeah, he really said that. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Show me your wares. What can I offer you? Now, for specific quests, I will need a fat ham. A loaf of bread and a bottle of milk. Ready on the bottle of milk, loaf of bread, and a fat ham. Um, I'm, you know, thinking about training my one hand there, even though I will use staff at some point. That way, it will make sense on why my character in Gothic 3, the part of Baliar, will be a dual wielded one handed. And then I will train one hand. Handed, two-handed will eventually so automatically go up, so you know. And since the staff, which will be used for mana purposes, is going to be a, a two-handed, could use the claw belly off or one-handed. So instead of investing two to training into strength due to 10 learning points each training um i will invest it into one-handed for now just to get a bit more basic grip on my one-handed capabilities i can outmatch poco at least try to in close combat instead of using the regular method that i normally take first uh, let me solve it i couldn't care less no idea, you tell me. I get so say you didn't know that. You hardly know who to believe Can't these rely days. on never that. Knew that. That's not what I heard. Same old thing all over again. There was no big you deal. You mustn't believe everything you hear. If trouble as it is. anything new. That's really not my how to hold a sword. Wasn't it? Hmm. He didn't I get that from me. Or later. But no. Now, if you're gonna keep, um, Halvor, what Halvor? I think it was. If you're gonna keep Halvor, you don't have to really out of jail, um, you will only purchase you don't golden plates, golden goblets, silver plates, and oh, silver goblets. You will not purchase scratch silver balls, you will not purchase gold candlesticks, you will not purchase gold or silver rings. So just you guys know that, you know how I can sell those. Well, even though I will keep them out, I need that one for a quest. And there's more, believe me. Those I need for runes later on. And there's more, believe me. Agree with you, he believed that. His decision, wasn't it? Just listen to him talk. Of course, we got him in the end. Not as much. You hardly know who to believe. No one. Four hundred Peter Bad Gold. Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Was just like you said. Nothing amazes me anymore. I couldn't care less. I agree with you completely. Same old thing all over again. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony, remember? There's nothing you can do about it. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. 
I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. Is it really true? What are you going to do about the thief, then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? Not really, my friend, but I could use the connections. I couldn't care less. I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had anything to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. I'm not touching that. Don't say about the swamp weed. Here's a few stalks for you. That's all? I can smoke that much in one sitting. It's got to be at least 10 reefers. At any rate, you've got my vote for joining us. How's it going? The militia has bullied us long enough. Now that the mercenaries are on our side, they won't dare to just show up here anymore. The king may think he can get away with anything, but we're not going to take it anymore. In town, they're talking about a peasant's revolt. Nonsense. We aren't doing anything except defending what we've worked hard for. It's certainly true that the war is being fought on the backs of the peasants. But Onar is no longer prepared to just stand by and watch while the king bleeds us dry. All that matters is strength. Can I rest somewhere around here? Of course we got If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the barn. But don't lie down in a mercenary's bed by mistake. Onar makes sure that they leave us farmers alone. But with strangers who don't belong on the farm, the mercenaries can do whatever they like. I could also throw in a bit into dexterity, but um, I'm still not entirely sure about what I will do with my learning points. But either way, this guy will have 100% in one-handed, 100% in two-handed, magic circle six, he will use belly arm magic at his disposal, and of course, unlike the other two paths, the path of Adenor's, the mercenary, or the path of Enos, the paladin, unlike those two, he will wield and use the power of the claw. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you were the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. Give me that weed or else. Listen, all I've got is this one reefer of weed. Take it and leave me alone. Yeah, he really said you know that Onar's mercenaries look out for us, right? So don't do anything stupid. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. I don't have it. Honest. That's been known a long time. 
now to uh, get figured out in order, which I normally never do, um, in order to figure out that Dar is the one that stole it, you have to knock him down. At least, if I remember it correctly. Um, so I'm gonna wait a bit with that till it's night time and he will sit on that bench where Wolf sits now. The rest of them will be asleep, most of them at any rate. And I'll see if I was right. Normally I don't do it because I know personally, you know, I know it's Star. Um, but, uh, let's see if that is the case. I vaguely remember it from years ago, so it's gonna be a test of some sort. Got my own opinion about that. What do you want from me? Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. You listen to the wrong people. Now, I must say, and I'm not 100% sure about this, but even if you're a mage, dexterity is very, very important. Just like dexterity is important for the bow, the bow requires dexterity, you know, and the arrow is strength. The more strength you have, the more crit you do due to your strength. Crossbow uses strength to wield it, but the bolt is dexterity. And as a mage, dexterity is important. And I'm not, again, not entirely sure about this, but I think, vaguely remember, but no one really wants I'm not 100% sure. I think that Nobody ever the higher the your dexterity, yeah. even as a mage, that the faster your casting time. So that's another thing that I will test whether that is the case. So instead of training my one handed or two handed capabilities, I will first get my strength to 10 learning points requirement, which is currently already. Yeah, and get my decks as well to 10 requirements. My own opinion like to drink the potions, create permanent potions for whenever the uh, need arises, you know. Um, I have a belt, so I have to put that one out. He ran like Beliar himself was after him. I want to improve my abilities. Now, as you can see, even with my belt off, strength requires 10. I'm not going to train that one yet. I'm going to train my dexterity a bit. Till it requires 10 learning points, which is about the same amount of dex that I currently have. Come back once you've had more experience. That's Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Good. Now you can use your abilities better. That's really not my problem. I currently have 70 strength, 65 dexterity. Um, and my strength must be around 120 plus, preferably more, but 100 at the very least. Um, so that the Claw of Balear deals quite a amount of damage. Not the highest amount, because the highest amount is 240 strength required. Um, at least, you know, the more strength you have, the more damage your weapon does, basically. But when it comes to wielding weapons, 70 is already good enough. Um, a dexterity must be at 80 due to pickpocketing the tower keys in the city of Corinus. And uh, the rest, most of which will go into one handed, two handed, before using tablets in order to train those books. That's not what I heard. Potions, permanent potions will go to strength only and perhaps mana, um, but certainly not dexterity. And uh, we'll see how strong the, you know, the sort of the Belial will actually be. It's going to be quite powerful. I couldn't get away with that. Let's first talk with Lee. Get that one over done. Hey, where do you think you're going? To the house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? Yeah, he really said that. You didn't know that. I want to join the mercenaries. <laughs> Fresh cannon fodder. Then go on in. Lee's in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. But above all, leave Onar alone. He doesn't like it when people talk to him without being asked. 
Especially not guys like you. Let me be the judge of that one, hey? Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head, got it? What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. They'll walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right. And most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. Has anyone tried to steal anything yet? A few. And I caught them all. I bet that you did, my friend. I bet that you did. No, really. <sighs> Who Damn are it. you? What's up? I am Onar's wife, Maria. What do you want here? I just wanted to have a look around here. With all these men on the farm now, there's no peace to be had inside the house. They just keep barging in here. Do the mercenaries bother you? Oh, well, at least the farm has been a lot safer since the mercenaries came. Back when we were still on our own, the militia came from town all the time to plunder our provisions. They dragged off the better part of the harvest, and they took some sheep, too. They did nothing for us in return. A few of those scoundrels even stole from us. So what did they steal from you? Mostly gold and silver. They even took my wedding present, a golden plate. I bet it's now gathering dust in the chest of some filthy city guard. I have a golden plate here. Would this be yours? Yes, that is it. Thanks a million. So what about my reward? Do you want to hire on as a mercenary here on the farm? Now, even if you do become a mercenary on the farm, there's something in particular that you must know. If you say yes, then Onar will give you a better price when it comes to paying you. However, as a player, even when you are going to be a mercenary, you will never be paid on a daily basis, and here's why. You're only getting paid when you are on Onar's farm, literally. You can, you know, go into the bed, sleep, wake up until the next morning, get your pay and repeat the process and get gold in return. However, if you're gonna do like I always do and like I also did with my mercenary playthrough, just continue instantly to the Valley of Mines, to Jarkandor, to explore, the, you know, the islands of Corinus. If you're gonna do that, then you will not get paid anything whatsoever so in my opinion it's always best to say no not really even if you do gonna join them because if you're gonna join the mercenaries you will be most likely never paid due to the fact that you are never on the farm because of your explorations of the surrounding areas of Corinus, Jarkandar or you know any further things like that you know so personal opinion it's always better to say no not really but if you do want to get that gold from Onar and you want to cheat it that way then say yes then you will get about 60 pieces instead of 50 um, and if you say no you get 50 pieces so it depends on what you, what you're looking after but uh, you know it's worth mentioning that once you become a mercenary you will most likely not get paid whatsoever Unless you sell things, pelts, trophies, but weaponry, etc. You know, the regular income, but payment through the farm, and most likely not due to the fact that you're n most likely never on the farm to actually receive a payment. So, yeah, so just you guys know that one. No, not really. 
Then take this gold as a reward. You've earned it. Tell me about Onar. He's a good man. A little grumpy and very impatient, but we've all got our faults. I told my husband, why do you let the soldiers from the city treat you like that? Do something, I said. So he hired the mercenaries. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a war. But then, we are at war, aren't we? Indeed, that we are, madam. Has anything exciting happened here lately? The paladins passed by here. At first we thought they were going to attack the farm, but they were headed for the Valley of Mines. Who let you in here? What are you doing here on my farm? Everything all right here on the farm? I don't see how that's any of your business. You don't belong on the farm. I want to work for you. I don't need a farmhand right now. My people see to everything else. You have no business here in the house, so get out. I want to work here as a mercenary. You? A mercenary? Don't make me laugh. If you were any good as a mercenary, Lee would have told me about you. Now get yourself out of here, pronto. You're revolting against the city, or so I've heard. Now listen up. I inherited this farm and this land from my father, and he inherited it from his father. I'm not going to allow that greedy imbecile of a king to make off with all that just in order to feed his useless armies. The war with the orcs has been going on forever. And where do we stand? On the edge of defeat. No, I prefer to defend my farm myself. The money that I save this way can pay for my own army. I want to buy a sheep. What are you doing here then? See a sheep anywhere? I... If you want to buy a sheep, go out to the pasture. It's to the right of my house. Have Pepe sell you one. Now, I will only get a sheep and try to get a thousand pieces of gold to see if I can deliver this statuette and pay my tribute in order to join the monastery of the Magicians of Fire. However, if I remember it correctly, Doing both is out of question, so, you know, you guys could always pick the free option, and I will do as well, of course, free is always bad. What's up? Who the devil let you in here? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you think that? Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barrier. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man could survive something like that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. But, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna do both, you know, to show you guys that it's relatively impossible, and if it is possible, it would show that it is possible to do both. Um, but it's always good to take the free option. However, that one is only available if you have Knight of the Raven. If you don't have Knight of the Raven, then the only way into the monastery is to pay, pay 1,000 pieces of gold, as well as bring a sheep and purchase people. a sheep here on Onar's farm, and on how you get, get the gold, well, that's easy to figure out, steal, loot, you know, you explore. You. Um, you should be able to I get it relatively quickly, especially, especially with yeah, heights of power, these days. because, uh, mm. Although, Nobody ever I have power opinion. do make things more difficult, but if you are up for the he, challenge, he really it can make that. you rich relatively quickly. I absolutely must talk to the paladins in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the paladins? That's a long story. I've got time. <sighs> Zardos sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. So you're still well, allied to that necromancer, I see. And the paladins and have this amulet? Alone. As far as I know, yes. I can help All you get to the paladins, escape. but first you need to become one of us. It was just like you said. How can you help me get to the paladins? You hardly know who to believe these Trust days. me, I've got a plan. I Those think you're the right eyes. man for it. I'll take you to the paladins, and you'll do me a Maybe favor. But first, join us. You didn't get that from me. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simply, I'm gonna see to it that we all get off this island. 
Onar hired us to defend his farm, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Ever change. But our reward is more than just our pay. By helping no the matter. farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. If he doesn't see that. And the less the paladins it. have to eat, the sooner really they'll listen that. when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? Gossip. Essentially, it will be about our pardons and, and our free world. passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. Nothing amazes me anymore. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? I do, but I'm, since I'm so the bad I will pretend until out. the point that uh, I drink the Mind Never Alteration Potion in the Jokinar expansion that my character has, uh, you know, forgot a lot of things due to Listen the defeatment, the destruction Got my own opinion of uh, the sleeper. Um, let me think. Big, dark, bad with a big axe. Nobody he recaptured our ore anything. mine with you back in the colony. Nobody will learn anything. Sure. Me. He got caught by the paladins and was sent I back to the Valley of Mines way. with the penal convoy. If the road to the Valley That's of Mines wasn't problem. plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent a couple these. of the boys already to free him. But the way things you are, know there's no the point. Sword. Poor devil. But he knew that all along. I want to join you. I'd hope you say that. People. I can use every able man here. The last like mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's yeah, one or two yeah. things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. Yeah, he really said that. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? He ran like belly on Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. Yeah, you can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's you the boys. I can hear. only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries well, agree change. that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. Hm. I agree with you completely. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? This is gonna change. By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should I'm say. Myself. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. That's what do you know really about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. Just like you just you have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, do tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. I know that, that this secret like guild exists here and that the water mages are behind it. That was obvious Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came I to with the water mages anymore. back then. Of course I still help when you I can, really but that. most of the time I have my own problems and barely any time for like other things. If you want to know more about it, you yeah, should probably talk really to Kor. That. He's one of them, as far as I know. I've got my own opinion about that. I'm ready to join you. Not before you've yeah, passed Tarloff's test. Days. I don't want to join you anyway. Himself was after him. That's <laughs> all just gossip. Everything fine with you? Where did you pick that up? So, you want to join us then, hmm? Do you even have a decent weapon? How did you end up with the mercenaries? I came with Silvio from the south. That's been we belong to an army of mercenaries which fought against the orcs. Of course we got them in the end. What's your opinion of Silvio? What I heard. He's a dangerous fella, and many of the mercenaries who came with him this far listen to what he says. Better not pick a fight with him. What's your opinion of Lee? I think that the only thing Lee is really interested in yeah, is getting away from this really island. He wants to go to the mainland. Seems to have a bone to pick with someone there. At any rate, he does a far better job than Silvio ever could. Moreover, he's a good Nobody leader. Most of the time, we can do whatever we want here. Hmm. I agree. Would you mind if I joined you? Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. That. What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. I've got my own opinion about that. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. Thanks, man. Peace. That's the first I've heard of it. Let's see. Is it night or off? That's all just gossip. Indeed, and it is. Hey, Torah. Hey, you! I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? 
Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the tasks that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll earn the respect of most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge, an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? I'll deal with the militia, don't worry. The farmer Bengar has complained that lately the militia from the city has been getting on his nerves. They're pressuring the farmer, probably trying to make him break with Onar. I want you to go to his farm and make it clear to the militia that they have no business there. Questions? How can I find Bengar's farm? In the southwest of the valley is a big stairway that leads to a high plain. That's where Benger's farm is. If you get lost, ask the farmers in the fields how to find your way around the area. Very well. Let's kick this bodo's off. I don't believe a word you're saying. Give me the swamp weed. I don't have it. Honest. You're right. Hey, you! I'll have nothing to do with nasty thugs. Lee is going to hear about this, and you're going to have to pay. Tell me you didn't know that. Hmm, intriguing. All right, so let's pay the bounty. See if he then will tell me where the package is. I doubt it. Yeah, he really doubt said it's that. A bit poor. Already know where it is. It's definitely <laughs> something out there. What's up? If you get involved in a duel with the mercenaries, that's one thing. But if you beat up on a farmer, they run straight to Onar, and he expects me to do something. You'll have to pay a penalty. Onar pockets the money himself as a rule, but it's the only way to settle the matter. How much? Fifty gold pieces. I don't believe this. I want to pay the penalty. Good. I'll see to it that Onar gets the money. You can consider the matter forgotten. That's the first I've heard of it. Yeah, he really said that. <sighs> I already thought as much. But I'm not telling you anything new. I don't believe a word you're saying. I don't have it. Honest. Okay, so uh, that was for nothing. Well, good to know, though. Why haven't I heard about this before? That was exactly no big deal. Who said that? He insisted he what are you smoking there? Want a toke? Sure. Some problem solved with you completely. Well, that's the truth. Thank <laughs> you.
Not bad, huh? Where did you get the stuff? I have my sources. Let's wait and see what do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Where's the package? What do I know? Have you ever tried shroom tobacco? Sounds interesting. Give it here. All right, here we go. Have you ever smoked that stuff yourself? Well... Have you or haven't you? I've been sort of busy. Oh, shit. Holy Robar. That stuff is way too harsh. Don't even try it. Where's the package? What do I know? Never pick a fight with me again. Impressive speed, my friend. Thanks for the gold, you hero. I think I better take this weapon. Oh, don't you think that will be the end of me, my friend? Just because you have my weapon. All of my gold, huh? This is no big deal. Could you take some of my gold? Fine. But all of it. Don't become too greedy, my friend. Well, we'll see the next time. Where's the package? Okay, okay, okay. I sold it to some bum in town. It was at the harbor. I can't remember what he looked like. Could it be that you need another thrashing? <laughs> this man, I was totally stoned. I don't have the slightest idea what the guy looked like. It was at the harbor near the boat builders. That's all I can remember. What do you think of Lee? Oh, he's a good fighter. I wouldn't ever want to pick a fight with him. Unless, of course, it couldn't be avoided. A lot of people talk about you. A lot of people talk too much. Hey, asshole! You don't actually think I'd get involved in a duel with you. Go crawl back under your rock. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. 
First they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. If a man is hungry, madam, a man is hungry. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the barn. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those felons from the penal colony? I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. My kind, really? What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, oh, those morons really get on my nerves, especially Silvio and his fat buddy, Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? Whack them with my rolling pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly bastards just hit back. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try that, honey. As far as I know, Silvio has magic armor. He can't be defeated. What about Bulko? That guy is as strong as an ox. So far, he has flattened anyone who tried to mess with him or Silvio. Thecla has a problem with you. So? What is the dear lady's problem? And why doesn't she come herself? You know that damn well. Why don't you go discuss that with my friend Bulko for a while? We'll take care of Bulko later. Cause Karma is gonna be a bitch. Well, for either for me or for him. What's up? About the swamp weed. Here's a few stalks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. See? I was already afraid of that. It would trigger the bug. Um, so I can't, you know, complete the part where he's gonna run towards the <sighs> that. But that's fine. <sighs> What's up? It's not really necessary. If you have a problem with wolves or field raiders, go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. What? Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, it's always about slaughtering innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh? What is it you want, then? I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon, then? So, how about one-handed weapons? Well... And two-handed weapons, then? I'm surely gonna get better. In other words, you're a damn greenhorn. Each mercenary needs to be able to rely on his comrades. All our lives depend on that. As long as you barely know how to wield a weapon, you're in the wrong place here. I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lee told me about it. Looks like I've got a deal with you now, doesn't it? All right, so what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. Teach me how to fight. All right, what else? You could help me to get accepted by the mercenaries. <laughs> I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. 
What else? That's all. That shouldn't be too hard. And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? As soon as you want to, you know, you say to him, I want your sword or your armor, he's going to kick your ass. So I never take those options. You can try it for yourself, but uh, I can guarantee you 90% that he will try to kick your ass if you request either of those. Because uh, his armor is, you know, high rank mercenary, which is very expensive. He's not going to give that away. And his sword, well, I'm not quite sure about his sword, but I think that will trigger him to kick your ass as well. Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? I'm supposed to drive the militia away from Bengar's farm. Ah, yes. That's easy. Listen, come back tomorrow. I'll have taken care of it by then. But you're going to have to do something for me in return. And what would that be? Not far from here, to the southeast. There's a small bandit camp in the mountains. If you go southeast from here, you'll soon see the tower there. One of my people, Patrick, left several days ago to do business with those varmints. Well, I told him it was a rotten idea. But that idiot wouldn't listen to me. I assume they've made short work of him. But I don't know for sure. You're going to find out for me. And what makes you so sure that they won't make short work of me, too? The fact that I know the name of their leader. It's Dexter. You'll simply claim that you know the guy. His men will think twice before they wring your neck just for the heck of it. It could still get dangerous, of course. But you can handle that. Alright, so where's Torleth? I got a dexterity to train. I can train it one more time and then it will be 10 learning points requirement which will be the mock in the moment <sighs> where <sighs> I'm gonna train my one-handed sword capability which allows me that to react faster with the sword play and thus be able to strength. block all the attacks so relatively quicker. Where did you pick that up then? I want to improve my abilities. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I'm in enough trouble Good. as it is. Now you can use your abilities better. I'm going to get off myself. So I have six learning points have to left. Step in and sort things out. All six. Uh, no, I'll keep really six learning that. points for now to learn a bit about so hunting sure. later. Nothing um, amazes me anymore. What else? All right, Pepe and the wolves. The bandits. And then we're pretty much done again here for the sixth or more times. But uh, I'm still hoping, still fingers crossed, that uh, it's going to be done this time, you know. Every time the freezing or the buzzing in the mic is very annoying to constantly redo the same thing over and over and over and over again without making any kind of progress. What are you doing here? Guarding sheep. <sighs> and if possible, staying out of trouble. Doesn't always work, does it? Nah, especially not with the mercenaries. I'm really glad to be out here in the pasture, although it can be dangerous too. What's so dangerous in the pasture? There's a small pack of wolves that roams the area. Lately, the damn beasts have come by and eaten one of my sheep almost every day. A few days ago, I had almost twice as many sheep. I don't want to think what Onar will do to me when he finds out. Why didn't you tell the mercenaries about the wolves? I thought they worked for you. Yeah, I know. I should have done that. But I didn't, damn it. And now, with so many sheep gone, I'm afraid to tell anyone about it at all. But you just told me. I'm already regretting that, too. What if I kill those wolves? You? By yourself? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'd sooner trust my bellwether to do that. Forget it. It was just a suggestion. I'll go over to the boys and see what they say about it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, and 
You're the greatest and you can take on a hundred wolves at once, no problem. Mostly they lurked between the trees near the pasture. I think there were only four. A hundred is a bit exaggerated, my friend, but I'm quite strong nevertheless. I must commit to that. Depending on how you look at it. The character, me, or the real me. And I must Nothing say, there. The real me doesn't look that strong, but you know, it's not about what you see. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. I might be skinny and I might be, you know, not that, well, how should I say it, muscle built. Hmm? I think that's a good way of saying it, but uh, I'm not weak. There are many different ways of weakness, and while I lack in some, I advance in others. We all have our weaknesses and our strengths. Free booty is always good, brings a bit of gold into the pockets, and gold means better equipment, better equipment means faster leveling, and faster leveling means more overpower. Cause you could say that this guy will be a uh, late game, nah, take it to OP, you know, just, just a tiny bit. Not only because of the claw, but also because of his magical capabilities, which is gonna make him... Hey, you! Very powerful foe. I've done in the wolves. You did it! Thank Innos! But now, I still don't know how to tell Onar that all those sheep are gone. It's all that damn Bulko's fault. What did you say about Bulko? He's one of the mercenaries. It was actually his job to guard the pasture. But instead, he and his pal Silvio hang around Thecla in the kitchen all day. It's that bastard's fault if I don't get paid for weeks because of the lost sheep. I wish I could at least punch him in the mouth for it, but nobody stands a chance against him. The guy's a killer. I'll see what I can do versus the killer. He's strong, no doubt about it, but it's not because of his, uh, ozo powerful strength blows that is the problem in most certain circumstances especially this early in game it's the fact that the player had shitty armor and shitty stats you know I'm just saying even though I currently have 70 strength 70 dexterity in heights of power believe it or not that is shitty stats no joke. Uh, damn it. What? You were sleepwalking, man. Everything all right? Ah, an unfamiliar wanderer. I am very busy, so what do you want? Sleep standing, actually, Paul. What are you doing here? Well... The things a woodcutter and hunter usually do. What interesting things are there to see here? Interesting is well put. If you go deeper into the woods here, you'll run into some very evil fellows. They're about ten feet tall, hairy, and in a really bad mood. So don't go there if you're not strong enough for them. Can you teach me something about hunting? Sure. But first, get me something decent to eat. I'm dying of hunger out here. I want a bottle of milk, a loaf of bread, and a fat ham. Then I'll teach you what you want. Here's the food you wanted. Fantastic. And now? Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? Take off a shadow beast horn, brace yourself against the skull with all your might, pulling on the horn, 
and cutting the thing out with a hard blade. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? The mandibles of a mine crawler or field raider have to be removed with a very strong metal lever. They are lodged very deeply in the animal's skull. Teach me how- What do you want? Come back when you have more experience. Touché. Regular wolf at level 12 and look the damage. Three, well, the third one would have been enough to kill me. fashioned way instead of using any kinds of magic I will f kill them with my bare sword even though it's gonna cause lots of XP most likely to be go lost to go bye bye you know but with ice of power there will be more than enough XP to go around so certainly possible to miss a bit you know and uh, you know I don't want all three powers to use a fire range just in the mere name of claiming 90% of the bandits XP around here, you know. Halt! You can't go through here! I want to talk to your leader. Oh, I see. You want to talk to my boss. Well, then of course I'll let you through. But only if you know his name. Because if you don't, I'll be obliged to kill you. Well? And there's more, believe me. Dexter. Well, I guess you know the boss. Okay. I'll let you through, but I'm warning you, you get too close to anybody, you won't get out of here alive. So take a deep breath and leave your weapons where they are. You'll find Dexter in the house. Your mere threats doesn't scare me, my good friend. I won't be treated like that. Huh, what does he know about duty? more trouble. That was no big deal. Alright, so let's have a bit of a conversation with Dexter before he's gonna meet his own end. Look who's here, the great emancipator. Well, hero, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a few answers. I never thought you'd come here voluntarily. What do you mean by that? I mean that I've been looking for you. Haven't you seen any of my wanted posters? They all bear your mug. Oh yes, you're very much wanted. Didn't you know that? So, what do you want from me? Me? Nothing whatsoever. But my boss is hell-bent on seeing you dead. So he wants me to find you and bring him your head. A mercenary named Patrick's been seen here. Patrick, huh? No idea what you're talking about. I do recall some loud-mouthed mercenary who hung out with the boys out there sometimes. But I haven't seen him in ages. Maybe he got himself hanged at last. I wouldn't know. They say that you're kidnapping people from Corinus. So you found that out too. Good work, Buster. And here I was thinking I had covered my tracks. Where do those people disappear to? Maybe down the mine somewhere here? <laughs> They're far away in the northeast by now where you can't get to them. 
I could show you where exactly, but I don't know why I would want to do that. Who gave you this order? My boss. He's a dangerous man. You know him. Raven, one of the former ore barons from the old camp in the Valley of Mines. He needs those people to fulfill his plans, and that's all you need to know. An ore baron here in Corinnus? He's no longer an ore baron. He's got plans of his own, and Corinnus will feel that before long. Raven? Dangerous? Oh well. What do you know? You don't know him like I do. He was a miserable swine even back then. But these days, he has changed since the fall of the barrier. There's a black shadow across his face. His fierce glance will pierce you like the claws of a raptor if you look into his eyes for too long. My only advice to you is leave Corinus as fast as you can before it's too late. There's nothing here for you except for certain death. I don't believe a word you're saying. Hey, it's true. I swear on my mother's grave. There's this fellow with an eye patch. He's looking for you. Everybody's looking for me. I couldn't care less. If that guy has some business with me, let him come here. You want my head? Come and get it then. If that's what you want. So much for you, lowlife. Ah, Dexter bought it, right? Looks like he's dead. None too soon either. Go check out what he's got on him. Well, that were two unnecessary deaths. Well, it is what it is. I knew where I would lose most XP. But I didn't expect all of them to go after me. Because I thought and hoped that they would go after Greg instantly, but no. Better death by a sword than falling from a great height. Unpleasant death that would have been. Well, it's quickly over though. Nothing to be had there. Hey, you! Dexter carried nothing but this letter. Show me that thing. Ah, oh, damn it, that doesn't help me at all. We shouldn't have just let him croak like that. You wouldn't happen to know how to cross those mountains in the northeast of Corinus. No. So I'm stranded here. Dexter was my last hope. 
What did you want from Dexter? I've come from beyond the mountains in the northeast of this island, and I want to go back. I had hoped that the bastard would know how to get there without a ship. What is there beyond those mountains? You had better not try to go there. Those are rough lands. A wimp like you wouldn't last long. I saw a pirate named Skip near the port. That moron. I waited there for three days. So why is he coming so late? Once I get my strength back, I'll give him what for. Nothing to plunder. Look how easy Greg took care of all these bandits. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Must have been a horrible death. Quite a height to fall from. I wish you look at that, there's still people alive. Impressive. get the fire arrows, the ones that I can get, which is about five of them, I think. The remaining 25 are in chest, I don't know how to open locks yet. And, uh, I get myself the fire bow, which is a pretty good bow. The only downside of magical enhanced weapons, especially bows, crossbows, and especially in Gothic 2, is the fact that once you use the arrows of the same kind, whether it's a magic bow, then you have to need magic arrows. If it's a fire bow, it's fire arrows. If those are used up, you know, then the entire bow or crossbow gets rendered entirely useless. Come before you fall down. Ah!
gonna take a bit of a scenic tour, well, a scenic route actually, but uh, and that's because there will be banners down here, and weapons, and a bag of gold. Only one bandit. Nothing there. I went to see Dexter. And? Dexter is dead. There was no trace up there of your buddy Patrick. Dexter remembered him, but he said it had been ages since he'd seen him. And you're sure that Dexter didn't lie to you? No, I'm not. But this is all I can tell you. I don't get it. He seems to have vanished off the face of the earth. Well, you've kept your side of the bargain. What about Torloff's test now? Don't worry, you can go back to Torloff. Your task is fulfilled and you've passed the test. I told you I would take care of it. Let me quickly go to the hunter again and uh, learn the remove heart. And then I can... Uh, cost me about three, that means I have nine learning points left. With nine, I can't really do much, so I'm gonna invest five into... Um, one-handed, I think. Since I'm currently wielding a one-handed weapon. Where is he? Is he dead? Really? He, he's gone? He's dead? I, I'm a bit speechless at the moment. It was my only way to learn how to remove hearts, I believe. Maybe I can start in the valley. But uh, I think the bandits who were in that tower over there fell down somehow. Well, not that tower. The bandit tower at any rate fell down, somehow survived, and uh, killed this guy over here. And walked back. I killed two bandits who came back from wherever they came from. So I, I suppose my good friend is dead. Well, that's a shame. On the other hand, that means two level for one-handed, but still, it's a bit, uh, bit of a weird circumstance. So, I only hope that Gustav will be able to learn us how to remove hearts, but otherwise, I'm pretty screwed. T, 
teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use any weapon. Where shall we start? You've become better already. Keep it up. What should I learn first, one-handed or two-handed combat? Those two types of arms are rather similar. As soon as you reach the next level with one type of weapon, you automatically learn for the other as well. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. If you train with one type of weapon only, you'll find the training more exhausting. If you always train both, you'll arrive at the same result with less effort. In the end, the outcome will be the same either way. It's your choice. What are the advantages of one-handed or two-handed weapons? A good question. I see you've given the subject some thought. One-handed weapons are faster, but a little weaker. Two-handers cause more damage, but you can't strike as fast. Also, you need more strength to wield a two-hander. This means additional training. The only way to become really good is to invest a lot of effort. Teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use You've become better already. Keep it up. I can... You've become... I can... You've become... Thank you. It's all just gossip. Where did you pick that up then? He thinks it's as easy as that. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? That's Let's see. My problem. Wolf says he has nothing against you joining. Cord thinks you'd be good enough to join. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very reasonable man. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Bolko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. You convinced most of them by passing the test. Even if Cord had a little hand in it. You have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. I'm not telling you anything new. No, again, should you want to watch and, you know, see the playthrough of the mercenaries, check out the playthrough of Adano, want the militia paladin, check out the playthrough of Lino, and if you want Fire me, then you're in the right place in the path of Baleo. Hey! Hello, I'm new here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the mood for conversation. I'm totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. What can you tell me about the farm? This is Onar's farm. That big building is his house. He vacated a wing for the mercenaries. We farmers have had to bunk in the barn ever since. But it's all right with me. It's good that we have people who guard the farm. The building here is the kitchen. Maybe you'll be lucky and Thecla will have something for you to eat. What about the mercenaries? Onar hired them to keep the city militia off our backs. But they also guard the farm, the sheep, and us farmers. So don't even think about stealing anything or rummaging around in somebody's chest. They're just waiting for a chance to knock you down. Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Where did you pick that up? Wait a minute. I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. 
Besides, in the Valley of Mines, I mean. No. Of course not. Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? Because there might be a farmer who knows the blacksmith. You never know, my friend. I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering, then. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. I've passed the test. Good. I'll vote for you, then. Can you teach me how to forge a sword? Sure. That'll cost you a bit, though. Let's say 30 gold pieces. Fine. Here's 30 for you. And that was a damn good price, too. We can start as soon as you're ready. Should have got my two learning points. The joke's on me. Is it really true? All that matters is that was all. I've got my own opinion about that. That's really not my problem. Of course we got him in the end. Do you really believe that? No trouble as it is. Silvio doesn't like being talked to. You might have gathered. Put down that weapon. Now. See? That wasn't so hard. You mustn't believe everything. Ah. Hit him. <laughs> you showed him who's boss. I'm no better off myself. Not even any gold. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think I'll take your weapon. I did quite surprising the amount of damage when I landed a crit. So uh, that was a bit unsuspectingly. No idea. We need to talk, you and I. What do you want? I think the best thing would be if you didn't show your face on the farm anymore. See to it that you're gone by tomorrow. We understand each other. Put down that weapon! See? That wasn't so hard. I'm not going to leave here. I guess we're gonna have to discuss this again. Ah. Watch out! Nothing amazes me anymore. Hang on! Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. The two of us should have a chat. Listen, you won. Now leave me alone. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then. But some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. 
He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against him and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island, and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation. Plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. We're nearly done with this episode, guys. Nearly. But still, fingers crossed. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other, I don't care if you stick to the rules or not, just as long as the boys wind up out coal in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? I've bested Bulko. I heard. Not bad. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raoul. And? He was badly in need of a proper licking. That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. You really let Bulko have it, honey. Must have been an exhausting job to thrash that fat swine. It can't go on like Here, this have a bite to eat so you'll gain back your strength. That was no big sure, deal. Took some yes. Can I have some more of your stew? I haven't got any now. Not even a tiny bowl? No. Can I lick the pot then? Will you cut it out? If asked? you're so keen on my stew, you'll have to do something to get it. What? Go see Sagita, the healer who lives behind Sekov's farm, change? and bring me a package of her herbs. If you bring me the herbs, I'll make you some stew. Over again. I don't want to hear that anymore. That's no secret. Tell me that isn't true. I could have told you that before. All right, so let's pick up the reward from Pepe. That's really not my problem. I'm gonna believe these things. You don't have to talk. Sure. I'm not telling you anything new. That's no secret. You just have to lose. I will keep the sword for now just as a mere backup, you know, should I have to a PvP to nah. I'll try it. I'd better use the gold and have it needed.
Would you mind if I joined you? Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. I passed it already. Well, that's all right then. What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. Thanks. That's one of the two rings that I need. So now I have really enough dexterity. No as soon as I pickpock learn pickpocketing, that is, to get every tower key, which is good. Let's quickly go to Pepe, and uh, then we're pretty much done. And then let's hope that this time it worked out. Bulko got what was coming to him. I've taught him a lesson. The swine deserved it. Can I buy a sheep? Anytime, if you can pay the price. A sheep will cost you a hundred gold pieces. If you pay, you can take a sheep. But you have to treat it well. Here's one hundred gold pieces. Give me a sheep then. Good. Then take Betsy. You'll find her in the pasture. Just tell her she should follow you. She's pretty smart for a sheep. Treat her well. So I need, still need about 200 pieces of gold. Hello, <clears throat> sheep. Come with me. Well, that's all right. I will find the gold some way. Get some hunting along the way. You know the reason why it's I take it? It's so that I can let it follow it me whenever really the areas are you can't secure. Rely on that. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I want to you thank you guys for himself. watching. He, uh, he Fingers really crossed that. that it all worked this time. Get that more, from uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And there's more, believe Well, we're basically gonna go and join really the monastery of the magicians of fire as a novice. Same old thing. So uh, if you like what again. you see, feel free to thumbs it up. If you didn't like That's what you see, feel right free to thumbs it down. Preferably not, but whatever makes you happy and whatever feedback I can get backwards is ever welcome. Whether it's good feedback or negative feedback, any feedback of any kind will be well appreciated. And, uh, if you subscribe to my channel, make sure to hit the notification bell. And once again, my sincere apologies for the sissing. So uh, if you guys are wondering yeah. why I sis, uh, let me know in the comment section down below and I'm explaining it there um, instead of explaining it here. Really you know know it better. here. The th sixth time oh, and maybe it's not working probably again and you then the main I will explain it again for no reason. Um, so it's that in I'm the comment section down below and you know I will reply to it and explain. Um, but uh, uh, see you guys next time, and uh, a good day. You mustn't believe everything all over again.